welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Andrew, I'm a tour guide in Sydney and I would like to share with you information which I found on uh, in the internet about the virus about right now it's uh, the 3rd of April and uh, behind me Opera House Harbour Bridge and I'll tell you about situation in Australia and in the world with uh, coronavirus so the all information I'll share with you that's the was taken from uh, internet from many thousands of the sources analyzed it's my personal opinion as you know the coronavirus the, the, the came from China it's from most of the sources this virus is leaked from a lab and uh, the Chinese trying to make a vaccine from a SARS virus and unfortunately uh, it's uh, the virus itself leaked and now they spread it all around the world uh, there are lots of people trying to save uh, the life from the viruses and the wearing the mask I suggest you to wear like this mask it's only this mask can protect you because it's uh, it's P2 on N95 standard if you are wearing a surgical mask it's just only making worse the situation with your body because it's uh, holding all the germs inside the mask instead of a ventilation all the germs out of your body but it's absolutely useless for the virus. The virus is a lot tinier than bacteria and can uh, penetrate through the mask, surgical mask, and you just uh, kill yourself with this normal surgical mask. So there is a man in a surgical mask? So you need only there in a, this mask or like the same type of mask with a P2 or N95 standard. And uh, also I suggest you uh, flash your sinuses and um, uh, the goggle your throat because the virus sits in uh, uh, your nose and uh, could sit you know if it will penetrate your body it concentrated in uh, your sinuses and it concentrated in uh, your throat again I am not a doctor I'm not a professor this all information is only based on my own opinion and uh, I took the information from lots of lots of the sources and I'll just confirm the information from many different cross uh, the sources so I think it's pretty reliable and accurate and uh, as you can see the people practicing exercises but uh, Australia locked and uh, you have to keep the social distances two meters and stay at home until you have to go to the supermarket or a pharmacy or a doctor and doing like quick uh, exercise on open air Chinese uh, overseas companies uh, imported 2.2 billion uh, the mask there's a antivirus mask and into the China during the, it's the beginning of the uh, outbreak of epidemic in January, February. So it's very hard to find the mask and it's not possible out actually at all. But if you don't have a mask just to stay in it and it's uh, keep distance two meters, it's a lot better than wearing surgical mask, which is even it's, uh, even it's never protecting you from the virus because the coronavirus can uh, penetrate through the surgical mask easily. And also I'll show you from the car, the Sydney nowadays, during its epidemic of coronavirus. All the best by and wearing the proper mask. I'll just to show you the Sydney during the coronavirus. Uh, you can't really walk according to the new rules on the street. If it's uh, non-essential, the the reason of your walk so but you can drive if for example police they stop you and ask you what's the reason uh, you right now this it's not sitting at home and uh, walking somewhere uh, you have to give a, a reasonable answer if it's not that's a reason not a reasonable answer it's uh, penalized with one thousand dollars fine 
and um, as you can see this Sydney is a bit deserted right now I'll show you Sydney from the car during the uh, coronavirus time This is McMuffin's Point. It's one of the most beautiful lookouts in Sydney. Kiribati suburb. The Sydney. Sydney has a lots of parks. And the big parks you can see also on the left hand side are Fikers trees uh, and there are lots of uh, beautiful lookouts as well. For example, This is a view from northern parts of the Sydney. From the camp. It's a beautiful Sydney Harbour. So right now it's Friday. Friday 2 p.m. and usually it's it's quite busy time of day and uh, lots of drivers that cross in the Sydney Harbour Bridge and right now you can see only like 20 percent from uh, normal volume of the cars on the roads Before coronavirus, this bridge was so deserted, so empty, only just midnight. And look, it's the daytime. We're driving across the bridge, and no cars. So this is a Sydney Harbour Bridge. cars almost daytime no cars so this is Macquarie Street Heading towards the Opera House. We'll see how much people standing and clicking photos in 
next to the Opera House. One police. Six people. This Macquarie and the Hyde Park, and no people in Hyde Park. Churches are closed. We're heading towards the Bondi Beach. Sign beach closed. All the beaches are closed. This is a Bandai beach today. No swimmers, no people, because all the beaches in Australia are banned. Despite the ban, the people are grouped together at gathering and it takes cost $1,000 for them. Bandai Beach Walk Unique video No water in uh, Bondi swimming pool because all the pools gyms closed and no people daytime on the Bondi Beach Now the government they set up the clinic on the Bondi Beach because there is a big cluster of the coronavirus uh, backpackers and they inside the Bondi Pavilion this is uh, one of the backpackers accommodation now closed as many because of the spread of coronavirus for the backpackers and these backpackers is a big problem because the tickets to Europe cost 24 four thousand Australian dollars right now they are ridiculous but they can't stay here as well 
So we're heading from the Bondi Beach along the Sydney coastal line. And uh, what I would like to tell you that the shell of a virus has a grease. So there's like a grease shell and inside the DNA. So when you're washing your fry pan, grease fry pan, you're washing with a hot water and with all these uh, chemicals, detergents. Uh, the same story about the virus. If you want to wash it out of your hands, only use the warm or hot water and uh, the liquid when you're washing, uh, for example, your fry pans. The same story. If you washing with a spirit it takes you know time to dissolve to the grease shell also the virus it's dying with a free and uh, more days exposure like on the dry surfaces you know, I can give you a life hack if you have a mask I showed you before it's designed only for 12 hours protection but if you put the mask on the Sun and keep the mask for uh, like several days on the sun exposure I guarantee you all the sun it's uh, killed all the viruses and the mask first of all because even with no sun the virus uh, can uh, stay alive no more than three days and with ultraviolet it's even quicker die so it's a good idea if you can't really get the mask, you can reuse it, but they put on the several days for the sun exposure, and you can use it from both sides. And use a proper mask. As you can see, the people walking, it's the physical exercise is allowed, but no swimmers. And this is a Bronte Beach. Beautiful Bronte Beach. I hope all my suggestions and advices uh, will help you stay healthy and I suggest you wash after you get back from like a virus exposure like supermarket wash your uh, flash your all the sinuses wash your hands with uh, uh, hot water and the liquid the washing liquids uh, like a kitchen washing liquid eyes your sinuses and the head because the virus can stay on the hair up to five days. So if you have a big hair, you can catch the virus and the spread the virus easily. So this is it. And all my advices you can confirm just Google on the internet. This virtual tour around the Sydney during coronavirus. All the best. And I hope you visit my website after coronavirus finished and economy the starting back up and running. This is a Banksy tree. It's an endemic Australian tree. And it's real weed. all the best from uh, Sydney Private Guided Tools Company.